The problem with the apparent magnitude scale for stars is that it is subjective. It was devised by a Greek called Hipparchus, and basically he said, I'm going to say that the brightest stars, I'm going to give an apparent magnitude of plus one. The dimmest stars that I can see with the naked eye equal to plus six. And you might be thinking, why on earth do we still use this then if it's so subjective? And you'd be absolutely right. One of the problems is that you might look at a star and you might say, oh, I think that's halfway in between. So something like an apparent magnitude of three, another person comes along and says, oh, I think it's actually a lot dimmer than that. I'm going to say that it's five. It's subjective. So what scientists did in the 19th century was say, a star that has an apparent magnitude of one has an intensity that's a hundred times that of a star of apparent magnitude six. So how do we deal with that maths wise then? Well, that means that therefore, going from an apparent magnitude of one to two, intensity decreases by 100 to the fifth root, 100 to the fifth, and that's about 2.51. Therefore, m equals one is 2.51 times brighter, more intense than a star that has an apparent magnitude of two. Therefore, we have a logarithmic scale, so we can say that the intensity of one star compared to the intensity of another one that is the ratio of the two intensities is gonna be roughly equal to 2.51 to the power of difference in the magnitudes. And just be careful which way round you actually put this. Now, of course, this depends on a star's luminosity, that is how much power it's giving out and its distance from us, because both those things affect how bright a star appears to us. So to take distance out of the equation, they came up with something called absolute magnitude as well only depends on luminosity, not distance. And what it tells you is what the apparent magnitude would be if the star's distance was equal to 10 parsecs. So here's the equation. Apparent magnitude, take away the absolute magnitude, is equal to five times the log, to the base 10 that is, of the distance divided by 10. And often this is used to find distance. If you want to find the distance, then all you have to do is rearrange this. So we can say that m minus m over five is equal to log d over 10. Therefore, delogging this as it were, it's equal to d over 10. So therefore, all we have to do is then times by 10. If we times this by 10, it's actually the same as just adding one onto here. So therefore, we can say that d is equal to 10 to the power of difference in absolute and apparent magnitude plus one. So generally in a question, you might be asked to calculate luminosity and told how that relates to absolute magnitude. And you're given the apparent magnitude as well, maybe, and you're asked to find the distance. Or it could be the other way around. You've been given the distance and you're asked to find out maybe the absolute magnitude. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, pop them in a comment down below. I'll see you next time.